What's up everyone? Welcome to week 10's applied kin stretch class. Train your EQIs. Eccentric quasi isometrics are not a drill, they're a concept. They simply refer to training the failure, the eccentric lowering of a drill. Now, as we dive deeper into loading our joint strength training, it makes very good sense to get extra time under tension for our eccentrics. There's so much research on the benefits of eccentric training that I'm not gonna dive into right now, but it's just important to remember that as you add load, it's a great opportunity to get more time training your EQIs, learning to control your failure. And that's what we've got today. So next up, we're coming into a seated L position. Gonna work some scap depression liftoffs into EQIs back into scap elevation. They're pretty straightforward. Have your yoga blocks handy. So right now we're in a seated L. We want both yoga blocks next to our hips. We're gonna lock our elbows, allow yourself to find scap elevation. So shoulder blades in your ears, gonna retract. Now this will be a demo rep, I'll just show you one. Depress, Danny, go ahead and lift off. We lift off in a scap depression, shoulder blades pull down towards the hips, and now we fail back down, letting the scaps glide back towards the ears for a time. That's the EQI until the hips tap down. Gonna get five reps, about a six count down, don't be too strict on these. We're trying to follow that 30 second rule for each rep, notice that. Don't overthink it, but about 30 seconds of time under tension for each drill. So, breath in, we're in that scap elevation, press through those hands, deep press scap through, feel your lats, retract as you lower, failing back into those traps. Slowly back down as the hips land, take a second, shoulders behind you, press down, press down, press down, hold that. Six, start failing, five, so slow, four, control failure, three, two, one, hips tap, breath in, shoulders back, drive through those hands, lift off, feel those scapula working, slowly lower, six count, keep those shoulders pinching towards those ears, slow down, three, two, hips tap down, halfway through, breath in, shoulders back, push down, lift up, lift up, feel that upper back burning, six count, slowly lower, control those scapula, control that glide back up into elevation, two, one, last two reps, breath in, shoulders glued back, depress, push down, push down, push down, feel your lats working, slowly lower, creeping down, five, four, three, two, hips land, got one more, shoulders back, big exhale, <sighs> press through that upper back, hold, failing, six, five, four, three, two, one, breath in, breath out, <sighs> Done with our scapula focus and we're right down prone, gonna lie on our face. I want those arms coming overhead for some zone one, zone two loaded shoulder flexion hovers. Grab that light dumbbell. If you know your shoulders are limited, definitely go unload it for these. Could sub a tennis ball if you need to. Maybe have a pillow handy for your head. You will need both yoga blocks or something smaller you can try and hover over. So we're lying prone, arm overhead. We are going to load these. Now, a zone one, zone two hover just means a double hover getting out into the second zone of flexion. A little bit of shoulder abduction as well. So we're gonna go one target here, could go lower, something smaller if you need to, and then one target a little bit wider, a little bit further back. The idea, hover target one, then we hover target two. To give this that EQI intent, we wanna lift, hover over, and then fail down for a three count each time on the lowering only, there and back. It's gonna make it tough. It means you're getting about 12 seconds total for each rep, so we're only gonna be three of these. Again, that 30 second rule. So grab that dumbbell. You may have to play with the angle of these blocks a little bit on the first rep. Take a moment, solidify tension throughout the body, scapula really pack down low, lift that hand up, flex, hover, three, two, one, reset, do your best on your EQI. Lift up, hover over, three count down, three, two, one, reset. Now we gotta get zone two, lift up, squeezing in, three, two, one, fail down, try and lock that elbow, don't let your shoulder jump into IR. Lift up, hover in, three, two, one, fail. That's one, we're only doing three. Can reset as needed. Maybe those yoga blocks come a little closer. Readjust as necessary. Breath in, irradiate, squeeze that dumbbell, lift up, hover, zone one, three, two, one, reset. Try not to slam that hand. Lift up, zone two, three, two, one, fail down slow. They're tough, gotta control that EQI. Lifting up, hovering over, three count, two, one, decelerating to the floor, lifting up, Hovering over, squeeze, three, two, one. Got one more rep, breath in, Danny. Lift up, flex, zone one, three, count down, two, one. Reset your tension, heavy through those legs. Think about shoulder blade, elbow lock, lift up, 
hover over, fail down, fail down, reset. If you hit the block, that's okay. Be as strict as you can be with this load. Lifting up, hover zone, two, three, two, one, fail down, gotta come back. Last time, lifting up, hovering over, three, two, one. Rest for a moment and we'll hit that opposite shoulder. For the second side, just so we can see a little more, I'm only gonna set up that zone one hover. We're gonna hover an imaginary target to zone two. Doesn't need to be too high. Please do whatever you need to do. So in the same position, we're lying down prone, get a breath in, solidify that scapular position, heavy through those legs, squeeze that dumbbell, lift up, hover over, three count down, two, one, reset. Imaginary target outside hand, lift up, hover over, three, two, one, reset. Gotta come over target two, lifting up, squeezing over that imaginary target, three, two, one, reset. Tension through those legs. Try not to cheat with your back. Lift up, squeeze over zone one, three, two, one. That's one rep through, only doing three. You can always reset that target. Lifting up, hover zone one, three count down, two, one. Imaginary target, really small. Lifting up, Danny, hovering over, decelerating down. It's smaller than you think. High tension though, lifting up, hover over zone two, right about there, control your descent. That's what we're fighting on today. Lifting up, hovering in, three count EQI, two, one, last one here. Breath in, get your attention, lifting up, hovering over zone one, decelerate, three, two, one. Even as you're fatigued, fight for that eccentric, quasi-isometric. Lift up, hover over, three count, do not slam, two, one, gotta come back, last half rep, lift up. Squeeze over zone two, imaginary target, three count down, three count down. Last half rep coming over, lifting up, squeezing in, squeezing in, three count down. Those zone one, zone twos are so humbling. That second zone, especially coming back, tends to be a challenge, great options to build in. What we're gonna do is basically assist the kettlebell up in the top of bicep curl and range of elbow flexion, and then we're gonna fail down an EQI out of elbow flexion back into extension. To make this tougher though, we're gonna do it out of a hip hinge. Join us here, they're pretty straightforward. Same idea, we'll get five of these with about a six count. So, we're going to start by hip hinging. Sit back into a hip hinge, maybe soften knees slightly from there. Turn palm forward, assist up with opposite hand. Find end range of bicep curl. Gonna slowly drop that arm, maintaining a hip hinge and fail. Six, five, four, just letting that arm straighten slowly. Three, two, elbow locks, assist back up. Stay in that hip hinge, proud spine here. Slowly let go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, chest stays up. Can always change positions if you need to. Assist up, rep three. Reset tension. Squeeze biceps, slowly lower. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Got two more reps here. Assisting up, tension in that bicep. Let go, slowly fail. Don't let that arm swing forward. Be so strict with these. Slowly let that elbow lock. We got one more. Assisting up, find hip hinge, slowly let go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, elbow lock, slowly stand up and we'll flip sides. Last upper body exercise, find your hip hinge, go ahead, turn that palm forward, assist up, top of elbow flexion, shoulders behind feet, slowly drop arm, lower, six, five, four, three, two, one, elbow locks, assist back up, breath, tension, slowly lower, six count. Take your time here, work to keep that bicep decelerating against the bell, Fight for every inch, assist back up, rep three. <sighs> Control that five, four, three, two, one. Tougher than they look, two more reps. EQI for our bicep here, for our end range strength. Control that deceleration. One more assist up, six count EQI. Slowly low, five, four, three, two, one. And stand through. Get your breath for a moment, come down seated. Time for Coach Danny to take me through some lower body. Hey everyone, Coach Danny here, taking you through your lower body training today. Building up to split squats, starting with that ankle weight on our right side, we're gonna come up to the wall. Okay, next up we have a challenging drill. We have a hip flexion, passive range hold with that same EQI failure intent. Now you'll see that we have a kettlebell here. If the kettlebell is uncomfortable on your foot, please just use an ankle weight. Make sure that balance is not a limiting factor. 
From there, get the kettlebell around your foot. You're gonna passively bring your thigh as far as you can into hip flexion where you don't cheat with spine. From there, breath in, irradiate tension, let go and fail down slow. Keeping that tension, guide your heel back to the yoga block for another five, four, three, two, one, and set down. Hip is screaming at you, but we have two more reps. Bring that hip back up into passive flexion. Check in with that low back. Breath in, tension, let go, and hold, hold. Guide that heel back down, learning to fail with intent here. Three, two, one, and set back down. Last rep, best rep. Coach Zach is screaming behind the scenes. I know it. Pull that thigh up. Check in with that low back. Root that elbow in the wall. Let go and hold. Hold strong. Make sure that tibia is not cheating. Just hip flexion here for another five, four, three, two, one, and set down. Everything on the opposite side. Let's switch up the ankle weight. All right, same thing, opposite side. Really challenging those hips today. Get your tension in that hand against the wall. Use that to help you irradiate. Now you're gonna pull your left hip up passively. You're gonna irradiate tension, breath in, let go, and hold. Feeling back down. Make sure you don't cheat with your knee. This is pure hip flexion. Three, two, one, set back down. Reset your tension. Two more reps. Pull that thigh up passively. Check in with your low back. Press that hand against the wall. Let go and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Guide that heel back down. Three, two, one. Reset your tension. What we say here in the RKM, last rep, best rep. Pull that thigh up. Check in with your low back. Look at the focus here on Coach Jack. Let go and hold for 10 seconds, guiding that heel back to the floor, floating slowly for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Enough of hip flexion until we revisit those split squats. Next up, we're coming into quadruped, all about hip extension. Okay, we're coming into quadruped. We have those two yoga blocks. We're gonna use this as a target for our hip extension. What we've got is a hip extension lift off with the knee hinge straightening our leg. That's the EQI intent. We hinge back, that's one rep. We've got five, six second reps about. To start, set those yoga blocks underneath your knee. From quadruped, get some tension in that upper body. Irradiate tension also in those glutes. Breath in, lift up, and I want you to straight your leg. Don't quite lock out, but lower down for about six seconds. Three, two, one, and then hamstring curl back up. That's one rep, reset. Reset that tension in that upper body. Lift up, use your breathing, extend that knee. Think hamstring. Really do a good job of maintaining that thigh up. Don't let it drop. Three, two, one, hamstring curl back up, set back down. Reset, breath in, lift up, get tension in those glutes, straighten that leg, learning to fail with that integrity. Don't quite lock out. Hamstring curl back up, set back down. Get your breathing, get your plank in that upper body. Last two, breath in, radiate. Straighten that leg with that breath out. Three, two, one. Use that tension to hamstring curl back up, set down. These are so challenging, especially with that ankle weight. Last rep, tension, lift up, hamstring curl. Straighten, straighten, straighten. Don't completely lock out. Hamstring curl back up, set down. We're done on the right side, switching that ankle weight to the left. Last set of the day in ankle weights. Make it your best set yet. Zach is already set up in quadruped with those yoga blocks underneath his knee. Getting that tension in your upper body in quadruped is so important. Breath in. With that breath out, I want you to lift up, extend that knee, keeping that thigh nice and high. Reach for about six seconds. Don't completely lock out. Hamstring curl back up. And that's one rep. Again, we have five. Breath in. Get that tension. Lift up. Heel up to the sky and extend back down. That's the EQI intent, learning to fail. Hamstring curl back up, set back down. Check in with that quadruped, check in with that spine. Lift up, extend using that hamstring. They're probably screaming at you. Curl back up, don't completely lock out, Zach. Two more reps. Check in with that spine, it should be in a plank position. Breath in, 
lift up. With that breath out, extend that knee. Hamstrings are shaking. Fight that urge to fail. And set back down. Last rep here with the ankle weight on. Lift up, extend, reaching. This should be hamstring only. Don't use your knee rotation and hamstring curl back up. Set back down. Ankle weight comes off what we've got. Three 10 second reps with that eccentric, quasi isometric intent. That front leg, we're failing into our hip, knee, and ankle dorsiflexion. That trail leg, we're failing into that hip, knee extension. Also, that big, big toe component in the back. There's so much going on. Now, if you know that you're limited in your split squats, please hold on to a wall, assist yourself. From the bottom, we're just gonna press back up. No demo rep here, we're just gonna go right into it. Now notice for Zach's trail leg, he presets into a little bit of knee flexion. Breath in, get your tension, do your best. Now you're failing again into that lead hip, that lead knee, that lead ankle while your trail leg gets nice and long. Get that tension and push out of your end range. That was about 10 seconds, good job Zach, keeping count for me. Rep two, get your breath, get your tension, and start failing, 10 second rep, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and press out of it. Lead leg, ankle really working here. Rep three, do your best on this side, get your tension, breath in, breath out as you lower for 10 seconds, reaching that lead knee, reaching that trail leg all the way back. Beautiful split squat, Zach. Now push out of it, do your best here to keep your tension. These are challenging. Great job, Zach, putting it all together. Now we just have the opposite side. Okay, last three reps of the class, make them the best yet. We have that left foot in the front, right leg in the back. Zach presets that back leg with a little bit of knee flexion. Don't overdo it here, but you don't wanna completely straight for these reps. Get your tension, breath in, radiate, start lowering. Bending that front knee, feeling that shin, feeling those hips as you're getting longer in the back. Three. Two, one, keeping that tension, that straight face like Zach, push back up all the way, really working that back big toe there. Good thing we warmed it up. Rep two, breath in. With that breath out, start lowering, flexing that left hip, that left knee, that left ankle all the way in the back, long trail leg, push back out of it, get that tension, rise back up. Again, using that back big toe and that ankle plantar flexion in the front. Rep three. Breath in, get that tension, driving that lead knee, driving that trail knee behind you, trying to mimic a split, it's a split, it's a squat, press back up, nice and slow, and there you go. So we've trained a lot in this class today, all about EQIs. Hope you learned something about yourself today, and I'm sure you're feeling it. Drop us some feedback, let us know how you did.